Hello friends, this video on transport in plants part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the second component that is the pressure potential. Now let us see what is pressure potential. Now pressure potential is more about applying physical pressure. Now as I said, uh, in solute potential, we add solute to the pure water. Now what happens if we apply some physical pressure? So how does that, will that affect the water potential? If yes, how will it affect the water potential? Whether it will decrease it, increase it or let us see what happens. So let us take the same example which we took in the previous slide. What happened in that case? This was pure water. This is region 1. This is region 2. So region 1 had pure water where the water potential was considered to be 0. The second one initially had pure water but we added some solute. So when we added some solute, the solute potential was negative and that is why what happened? The water flowed from region 1 to region 2. And that is why here you can see the level of the water is more because most of the water have started flowing into this region due to osmosis. Now let us suppose that we apply some physical pressure on region 2. So on region 2 we apply some physical pressure maybe we have some a plate like structure and we push the water hard by applying physical pressure. Now what, what, what happens when we apply pressure in this direction? So this water will not be able to move up. Instead the water will be forced to move down. Now where will it go down? So this is like applying this pressure is like pumping water. So this is a positive pressure which we are applying. So what will this do? When we apply pressure here, a pressure will be applied to the walls of the container right and because of this pressure which will be applied to the wall of the container water will start flowing in this direction because there is no other way water can go when you apply so much of pressure you actually end up applying so much of pressure on the walls of the container and because of this pressure water has no other choice than to go pass across the semi permeable membrane again and so water will start flowing in this direction so what is happening in this case when you apply so much of pressure here here, due to this positive pressure which is being applied the negative solute potential gets compensated so the water potential increases so this side the water potential increases and therefore water starts flowing and the water potential becomes more than the water potential of pure water because here you are applying mechanical force you are applying pressure you will keep on applying pressure until and unless the water starts moving into region 1. As soon as the potential on in region 2 becomes greater than the potential in region 1, water starts flowing. So this shows that pressure potential is a positive pressure. So it is that component of water potential which is due to the hydrostatic pressure exerted on water in a cell. So this is the hydrostatic pressure, right? The pressure exerted by the water. Why is it exerted? Because of this mechanical pressure. So it is like a mechanical pressure. So even when we talk, now here we are talking about a beaker. Now let us suppose if you have a cell, there if too much of water enter inside the cell, what will happen? The cell will start swelling up. Now if the water which has entered is really, really too much, then too much of pressure will be exerted on the walls of the cell and the cells might even rupture because it, it, it might not be able to handle so much of pressure. So that is pressure potential which is exerted by water on the walls of the container. It is denoted by psi p where the subscript p is for pressure. It can be positive or negative. For example, in this example which I mentioned, uh, the pressure potential is positive. But in many situations, for example, in plants, in certain cases, the pressure potential can also be negative. So osmotic pressure, so that is a new term which will get introduced here. What is osmotic pressure? So here what happened? Due to the application of this positive pressure, water was forced to move backwards. So water was forced to move into the, I mean forced to diffuse. Basically osmosis was forced. 
So this pressure, this positive pressure which is required to prevent water from diffusing in is called osmotic pressure. Like before you applied this pressure, what was happening? Water was entering from 1 to 2. Now, if you don't want any more water to diffuse in, you don't want any further water to move from 1 to 2, what you can do, you can apply some pressure from here. Now, as soon as you apply pressure, immediately water will not stop coming in. As you keep increasing the pressure, gradually you will see that water start stopped coming in from 1 to 2. If you Even then, if you keep applying more pressure, you will see that water started moving from 2 to 1. So, it actually started going out. So, minimum pressure that is required to prevent water from diffusing in. So, here the minimum pressure which is required to stop water from coming in from 1 to 2 that is called osmotic pressure. If you increase the pressure even beyond osmotic pressure then water potential will increase here and water will, I mean, water, water will start moving into this side. Right? So, that is osmotic pressure. So it is a positive pressure which is applied because it basically increases the water potential. It helps to increase the water potential because due to addition of the solute, the water potential was reduced to psi s, that is a negative potential. But now this pressure potential by application of this pressure, it will again increase the water potential. So it might be able to convert this negative value into a positive value or it might be negative but the magnitude will at least decrease. Like if it was say minus 600, now it will be maybe minus 6. So that means it is still negative. That is why we told that pressure potential can be negative. But it increases the value of water potential. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.